Yo, it's Gale, guys. Nexus here. Welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, we are here past Tuesday reset. Iron Banner dropped yesterday, basically, with the Deadman's Tale quest line, our catalyst, and everything. I know I'm late. I'm doing two videos today just to make up for last time. But with Iron Banner dropping, we got two weapons. I wouldn't say new. It's weapons that have come back from being sunset or old weapons, basically. And one of the weapons is going to be the Multi Mac CCX. Now, I do have the Time One Spire. I will be doing that. But you can see my role isn't that great. I want to get a better role. But in terms of roles, the Multi Mac CCX. This is a pretty cool uh, submachine gun. 900 RPM. It's that archetype that are actually kind of good PvP. Don't get me wrong. They're not amazing, but they pair super well with other weapons. The multi back CCX, though, this thing was actually pretty sweet when it came out. It had a really kind of kinetic feel to it. It was a really sweet stability-wise, and in terms of rolls, I actually have a decent one. I got IS-5 Circle. Circular Iron Sight. Short zoom. Great increased standing speed, or I increase my range with a red dot model 8 red. I got a pen mag, so it increases the magazine size, or I got tactical mag. This weapon has multiple tactical improvements, increased stability, increased reload speed, slight increased magazine size. For the first straight, we got hip fire grip, increased accuracy, stability, and precision hit targeting when firing from the hip, which is actually kind of dope on some machine guns at 900 RPM. And last but not least, we got the dirty trait of the weapon, which is going to be kill clip. Reloading after kill grants increased damage. I do have a stability master work on it too, but in terms of rolls and everything, I have a pretty sweet roll. You'll see on the screen now, though, all the other types of rolls you can get, you can see that obviously it is rolling with some of the new perks. It is rolling with a brand new perk as well for Iron Banner called Iron Reach, which will greatly increase your range at the cost of stability. Now, obviously on a submachine gun or even on time once firing, that would be a great perk and everything. But in terms of rolls, kill clip PvP, it's generally the better perk. I've heard that the Iron Reach is okay, but the stability knock kind of it kind of hinders the gun a little bit. It isn't the greatest perk in the world. It's sort of like the obviously iron gaze and everything. The multi-max CCX, there's only one way to figure out if you should dip your toes into the LR banana to try get a roll of this. Obviously, it is orange. You can get it from completing Iron Banner games, obviously tokens as well, but is it worth grinding out to get a Multimax CCX? We're gonna find out. So without further ado, let's go into some PvP with the SMG. Alrighty, so we're gonna be on uh, the Radiant Cliffs with our Multimax, and this is what it's gonna look like. That's the first side, and that's the recommended for PvP. I'll show you the other one super fast so you can see. This is the other side, which is actually kind of clean. It's sort of like the, do you remember the Skate Lock Auto Rifle? It's sort of like that scope, but we should be able to go in with this. We're gonna go old school though on these guys with the L. Fighting line, guys. We're gonna actually pro it back to a fighting line combo. Isn't that fun? And we just got shot at. Ah! Oh, I'm so dead. And what the? I got cock blocked by a freaking wall, but we'll shred this guy as well. No, bro, bro. Bro, bro. Bro, bro, bro. This guy knows I'm weak. You know I'm weak, bro. Bro, you know I'm weak. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. But now we got the kill clip rock. Now, 900 RPMs with kill clip, they actually do pretty good damage. I wouldn't say they can uh, absolutely shred out or anything like that. But we'll get this guy. Oh. And the thing is, as I said, you kind of use this in conjunction with something else. So if you use a fighting line, for instance, you get them weak, and then you finish them off with your uh, multi mac, and then you get the kill clip proc. Now, there's a guy right here. Oh my god, he's just. I was leaving. <laughs> we'll take the kill, though. Oh, there should be a guy here, though. He's going to be somewhat weak, and you'll see once the kill clip is proc, you can actually start to shred with this thing. As I said, the multi pack, it's not bad. It's honestly not a bad SMG. You can see, even at range, it's doing all right for uh, what it is. That is why you probably don't need... Oh my god, we'll try to shred one of these. Ah, no! He's 1 HP! Oh, he's a Thunderlord. <laughs> but you probably don't need that new Iron Reach perk. The Iron Reach perk, it'd probably be more suited for the time one Spire. But with the multi mac you're not going to be going that far with it anyway. It's 900 RPM, so if you're trying to map with this thing, you're going to be playing it completely wrong anyway. So we'll get that guy super fast, though. Get the kill, kill proc. Oh, went for the wrong guy. Went for the wrong guy. Went for the wrong guy. Oh, I'm alive. We live. We live. Ah. Get me out! Get me out! I don't know where to go! Guys, always oh, the last word. You know what? I'll raise your nose scope with my nose scope. I got hip fire grip on this actually. Can this guy just like, I don't know, die? Thank you. But we do have hip fire grip on this as well, so I can actually start to like a nose scope some people. And that's all I've been doing the last like freaking days. Just no scope with Dead Man's Tail and with this, but we get the kill clip going. Oh, I'm weak as hell, but we killed him. But I can already tell you, this is a super nice SMG. You can see it absolutely shreds now. I just got deleted by something, but it is a really good bullet hose SMG. 900 RPMs, as I said. They're actually viable PvP. 750 is obviously not extraordinary rendition like Hulkamari and stuff, but 900s, they actually do pretty well just because of how like, I don't know, fast you can just kind of shoot them. Now there is two people here. Screw it. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Come here, boys. Come here, boys. Come here. Hoop. We're gonna get one. We're gonna get... We're gonna get two. And... I got Tika's Divination. The fell one just lied at the same time. What is this? <laughs> that was so bad. But I can honestly tell you now, the multi pack. it's not even that it, like it's effective. It honestly feels pretty nice as an SMG now. Buddy, I cannot help you out. Oh! 
There we go. Fighting line combo, boys. Get it back to it. Get back to it. Oh, we'll get that guy weak. Oh, there's a second one peeking. And a freaking bow just one tap me. Oh, God. You're going to be here, though. We're going to shred him super fast. Well, not fast. It'll be a whole freaking mag because my aim is big. But we'll try to get these guys. Oh, my God. What the what is going on? Freaking. Okay, we got him. Kill clip initiated, boys. Kill clip initiated. Oh, but no. Oh, but to, to, to what is going on? There's people everywhere. We'll get this guy super fast. Ah! So balls deep in their spawn. I'm literally I can't even see I can't even see underneath the water. I can't see them. I can't see the testes. They're gone. I'm that far in. But I honestly do like this SMG. It is feeling pretty nice. Um there isn't many SMGs that people will use PvP, but this one definitely has a good amount of stuff going for it. Now there is gonna be people here. Can I get one? Oh my god, get me out, get me out. Oh my I'm alive! Oh, we got kill clip as well. Maybe I don't need the freaking freeze. I can survive it. Oh, uh, we'll get this guy. Oh, he got bodied. Ah, oh, and I'm weak as hell. But you know what? There's going to be someone peeking me in a sec. Give me the kill. Give me the kill clip. Come on, peek it, bro. Peek it. I got no scope. Time initiated. Oh, oh now we're dead. The thing about kill clip is, if you think about it, what it used to be like. Kill clip is basically what Master of Arms is. Master of Arms, obviously, from the recluse. Easier to proc. Very easy to proc, but with 900 RPMs, when you do get kill clip, it gives the same amount of damage that Master of Arms used to do for crit shots, which is honestly just quite nice. This guy is just following him. <laughs> he was following him for so long, but the damage is that good, especially if you are hitting those crits. So, oh my god, I'm so dead. With the fire grip as well, it means I don't have to be that accurate, especially with when I use my fighting line. I can kind of no scope and get kills. I honestly have a really nice roll. I really like the roll, and we're gonna try to get a kill on this guy. We got him, and there you go. He's weak, and we just freaking shred him but we'll kill that guy a bit and he's slightly weak but we'll get that guy and this guy's a shoddy right do you have a shoddy bro do you shoddy bro oh he's one hp he's one hp but there's the no scope and that's what you can do with this with the hip fire it's honestly pretty sweet now there's a golden gun here ah no oh we got him <laughs> <laughs> no idea what's going on, but hey, we killed the golden gun. Oh, uh, no, let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna trade with this guy. Oh, my. oh, no, 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 bro, 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 come on, come on, bro, 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 come on, don't do me like that. Don't do me. My Icarus dash was just charging. Let me wait a little bit. Oh, he's only dead. As I said, the iron reach in this, it wouldn't be a bad perk or anything, but if you are, if you are ADSing or going for range with this thing, you're playing 900 is completely wrong. They're not really built for range at all. And even if you do get a good range roll, as I said, you're probably not going to primarily go around with them by themselves. Especially when you get the kill clip going, you will start to just delete L people now. I've got, oh, oh okay, this guy can die, thank you. <laughs> oh, he had heavy, he had heavy, he had heavy, oh, no, bro, bro, <laughs> screw you, bro, screw you. Oh, we, I honestly, I am really liking how this feels. It's honestly a super nice little SMG. As I said, there's not many SMGs that I would say that are super viable. No, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Friction, silence, and squall. Oh, but honestly, there isn't many SMGs in the game that aren't sunset where I'll be like, oh, use this, it's really fun. If you are an SMG user or if you like your grenade launches, just do something like that. They just finish them off. You get the Chimera going. And sometimes when you get the kill, you reload your old uh, fighting line. Now we'll try to hit that guy. No, guys! Stop with the silence and squalls! But if you really were going to use it, a lot of people would probably go for things like... Um, probably Killing Wind. Killing Wind is what you want to be using or something. Or maybe even Quick Draw. Quick Draw is really nice on 900 RPMs, as I said. Because you are using them sort of to get people weak. And then you kind of shred with them after, so you do that. That is the combo, and if you have quick draw, obviously you switch out to it really fast. Where is this guy? My, my thing's just gone mad. But with the Chimera, with the Fighting Line as well, I get some insta reload, so we'll do that. And oh, he actually fell with it to me! That's how he has quick draw. Freaking fell with just like quick draw roll. My god. But that's the sort of combo you can do. Just no scope or hit with the Fighting Line or whatever, and then you just drop this. Oh my god, can you just not? <laughs> Well, and that's why I say when you're going with these weapons, if you're going for like obviously range now, obviously I'm not gonna hit that shot. But if you're going for range with these sort of weapons, you're playing the 900 it's completely wrong. It's just not their place at all. So Iron Reach on it isn't bad, but I wouldn't use it either. I wouldn't think it's that great. It's okay, and it might help out in certain situations. Obviously, your range will help out, but for the most part, you're losing a lot of stability. You're gonna be losing just a bit more in terms of a different perk like as I said kill clip and stuff or even maybe even iron reach or whatever because you're gonna be up close anyway reduce that or not iron reach iron gaze but honestly the multi mic this is a really nice sub I would definitely try to get something like this a bonus defeat of 48
3.2 efficiency, as I said. This is a really nice feeling SMG with the kill clip, bro. All right, all right, all right. Time to PvE a bit with the multi mac as I said. This is a uh, this isn't about SMG yeah, PvP, but as I said, with kill clip, you can get some pretty nice damage. So if you think of them, um, as I said, recluse, recluse propped with master of arms, the 25 for crit in PvP, and this does the same with kill clip proc. So this is sort of like when you get a kill with the multi mac, you can start proccing pre. Uh, pre-nerf or pre-sunset recluse damage which is honestly super nice it's what made this uh, recluse so good obviously proccing it with other weapons is also a bonus but the fact that i can do as much damage as i used to be able to do with recluse is super nice and obviously it's super easy in pve as well the ads aren't that tanky obviously i'm talking about like gambit and stuff not freaking grandmasters where everything takes a freaking truck running over them to kill them but this multi mac as i said 900 rpms they're nice pvp but PvE, they're also super sweet because they're so easy to kind of just run around with and get kills. Now, we are at the max, and I don't want to die because they're going to bank. No, guys, don't do it. Don't do it. Let me bank my boats first. But, yeah, PvE, 900s actually do super well. And as I said, with this roll, I actually have a nice one. Now, this can roll with one for all, too, which, as I said, is nice. And that would actually be probably better for, uh, as I said, Grandmasters where they take so much damage. Being able to probably just hit three things super fast and then have a multi-kill clip or kill clip basically procs. For just hitting three targets, not even getting a kill. Yeah, that's gonna be sweet. That would be your god roll PvE, not gonna lie. Kill clip is nice and it's obviously good for both. But I will say, if you want a god roll PvE, probably one for all would be up there. But as I said, it's not even just about using the fight, obviously, the uh, multi mac by itself. It pairs super well with other weapons. Even PvE, I, I can still use my fighting line. And if I get a kill, obviously, it will reload my fighting line. So I do the same thing again. Oh, with the Chimera Tech, whatever freaking thing. And there's a freaking guy invading right now. So I'm probably going to get my ass handed to me in about two seconds. But with the uh, Chimera Tech or Chimera Catalyst on as well, you can actually just shred some things. So you can do that, get the damage in, and just start to shred. Now, there is an Invader going to be right up my pet bay in about two seconds. But yeah, for like something like this, we hit him once, we get him weak, and then we do that. We got this out again. And oh my god, I missed. But you get the general gist of what I'm trying to do. I basically, you basically just keep on shooting with the fighting line, get them weak, and then you finish the mob, reload your fighting line and everything. It's a really sweet combo, as I said. This actually, it, it just bodes really good with uh, other weapons that we are getting so destroyed. This is probably a loss. <laughs> They've already summoned the Prime Evil, and we're barely even there. But this is honestly one of those PvP weapons, like in terms of Iron Banner weapons, that can do well PvE. As I said, there is a couple of rolls, so I wouldn't toss out any rolls I get straight away. I'd honestly have a look, see how useful it is, see what it's like PvE. Alright, we're probably going to lose this game in about like 5 seconds, because it doesn't matter how well our invaders are doing, they've summoned it so much longer than us, that the Prime Evil level is probably out of like freaking 20 at this stage. So they're going to freaking destroy that in like 2 seconds when our invader comes back. But honestly, the multi mic PvE, I will say, it's a lot of fun. And you can stick on your mods. You don't have, or like, there's a lot of mods you can't stick on this, like a backup mag or even a boss spec, major spec, minor spec. You can do some decent ass damage in PvE with this. And as I said, PvP, it was pretty fun. Oh my god, we actually caught up pretty well, though, guys. I'm not going to lie. I thought we were going to do it. But yeah, that is the L at the L loss. But yeah, definitely PvE, guys, I will say. The multi mic's actually good. With a good roll, kill clip, bro, you can slay out PvE. Well, that is it from me and the Multimax CCX. Honestly, guys, this SMG, it, I think it's really good. I honestly think it's a really good SMG. I used to use this back in the day before I got Sunset and everything, and it used to actually be good back then. I used to love it in terms of it was a good SMG to pair with your fighting line. It was obviously the only really good one, Kinetic. There was, like, New City or other SMGs as well, but the Multimax was definitely up there. It felt really good. It shoots little pea shooters, but, man, this thing can actually wreck. Once you get the kill clip going as well, you can shred, and honestly, it looks pretty good, but I will say, PvP-wise, it's a a really good SMG. If you do like 900 RPMs or you like to use SMGs PvP, this is definitely one to take out in Crucible. Try and get a good roll. As I said, you can get Kill Clip Killing Wind, which is just an insane good combo. You can get Dynamic Sway Reduction or even Quick Draw, which is insane as well if you want to pair it with Fighting Line or another Grenade Launcher. And then in PvE, this multi mac honestly does shred. It's a really nice SMG. As I said, SMGs PvE, there's something about them that it's just... They hit differently PvE in terms of, they just feel so good to use. They're just a lot of fun. I don't know what it is. And especially if you do get a roll with Kill Clip. If you do get a good roll, if you, especially if you get Kill Clip or One for All or whatever for PvE or PvP. Try it out. It's definitely a good SMG. It's definitely worth grinding for, I think, getting a good roll of this. Because SMGs, they're not, there's not that many that are really good. But this one is definitely up there. But regardless, if you liked the video, trust like. And you want to see more content, subscribe. Fantastic day. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one.